Hey everybody, it's Mike Roussel from NakedNutritionNetwork.com. I want to put together a quick video today for you, which is what I call bad carbs. And what we're actually going to look at is that how not all carbs are bad, especially starchy carbs, which can get a bad rap. You know, a lot of times with fruit and vegetables, those are the really good carbs. But then what about the other stuff, the grains and things like that? You know, with the Naked Nutrition approach, we minimize grains and starches at certain times of the day, but they're definitely not off limits and there's definitely a place for them in your diet. And so what I wanted to show you today is some carbs that are really good and how you can you know, make some simple choices which are really good choices so you can have and enjoy starches and grains in your diet, still lose weight, still be really healthy, still feel great, which is what we all want, right? Okay, so first we'll talk um, breakfast carbs especially breakfast starches. So what we're looking at here, we have two different kinds. I have two different kinds of oatmeal. One are rolled oats and the other are steel cut oats. Now, oftentimes you'll hear kind of in health circles that, oh, you have to eat steel cut oats. Steel cut oats are the best. They're way better than rolled oats. And actually, what's kind of interesting, you know, the other thing like steel cut oats would be more slow digesting than rolled oats. But what's actually pretty interesting is that research has shown that the glycemic index which is basically a rating of how fast the blood sugar level, your blood sugar level, level rises um, after you eat each of these, the rolled oats versus the steel cut oats, is actually the same. So there isn't that big of a deal um, in the difference in digestion. Um, it's just some unique property of oats. So what I like to tell people, personally, I like steel cut oats better. They have a nuttier, fuller flavor, and I just think they taste better. But the downfall is they also take a long time to cook. They take a lot longer with, than rolled oats, which you can just cook in a couple minutes in the microwave and some water. So what I recommend to people is that, one, you can either cook your steel cut oats ahead of time, the night before, or if you're in a pinch and you don't have a lot of time, go with the rolled oats. But if you have a little bit more time and you can you know, put these together, go with the steel cut oats, because I think they just taste better. But from really a health perspective, from a controlling your blood sugar perspective, there's not that much of a difference. There's a time and a taste difference, which is important. So I recommend you use both. Just pick the one that fits your schedule better. Okay, next the other thing, I have, I'll talk about those. Those aren't necessarily starches, but then I wanna talk about two other grains. As you can see, I'm a big fan of this one because the bag is almost empty. So this is quinoa. This is a pretty cool uh, grain. You can eat it very similar to rice. I've written about it uh, on several occasions at the Naked Nutrition Network. So you can actually go there and just search for, for quinoa. Um, it's actually not spelled, you'll, you might see it at the store, see it's uh, Q-U-I-N-O-A. So it looks more like quinoa, but it's pronounced quinoa. And this is a great grain. It um, actually comes, originates, uh, and it was very popular with the Aztecs. So it comes from South America. And it's become a lot more popular now in grocery stores. You can find it in pretty much all grocery stores. Cooks faster than rice, has a really nutty flavor. Unlike a lot of grains, it actually is a complete protein. And what that means is that it has all your essential amino acids, which is really cool. Um, you know, just kind of an added benefit of quinoa. So I definitely recommend you, you try this out. Um, one little tip that I think makes it even better is when you cook it, and you can actually do this with brown rice too, is don't cook it in water, you know, if you're going to boil it because you prepare it very similar to brown rice, but instead use low sodium chicken broth. Then it really brings out some, some added flavor and it's delicious. So do that. The next um, grain we want to talk about is brown rice, long grain brown rice. Definitely, even though you can buy instant brown rice, don't do it to yourself because it's different, okay? It's not as good. What you want is, you want this long grain, take forever to cook, brown rice, okay? That's the good stuff. That's really gonna give you the fiber. That's really gonna help you, um, give you the best protection against preventing the rise in your blood sugar level, which is important for improving your health and also for fat loss. So brown rice is another great choice. It's a really simple, um, switch to make out in your diet. If you're used to eating instant rice or white rice, just buy brown rice instead. Really simple and easy. One of the things that is going to take a little bit more time to cook, so you want to prepare it ahead of time. Um, usually I like to prepare this on Sunday because you know it's going to take longer and then you can have it pretty much for the most of the first half of the week, maybe even into Thursday, depending 
um, on when you cook it. If you cook it on Sunday, it should be able to last till Thursday. So this is a good brown rice.